Sometimes I like to make a cup of hot tea or some other warm beverage while I'm in the office. Well, I recently had to purchase a new hot water kettle because this one quit working. So, let's take it apart. See what has caused it to stop working. So there are three screws on the bottom of this. And we'll just unscrew it. As you've seen, I've already replaced it, so if I'm unable to repair this, that's okay. Here's that when I pull this little lever, it drops down a connector on one side. On the other side, that connector is not moving. But it's very difficult to see or get into. So I'm going to pull, out, pull apart these other three screws and see if that lets me uh, get, get at this better. I hooked on the little magnet portion of my screwdriver so I could get those three screws off. Uh -huh. Hmm. We can definitely see, can definitely see the little metal piece on that side right there moving. On this side, that little metal piece is not moving. So what I'll do next is disconnect the wires and see if I can really get in there and take a look. I'm going to have to cut this because that wire is pretty tight. Feels like maybe this one has melted to it. Oh. Okay. Oh, that bent. Okay. Hmm, now, now it might be connecting, but I'll never know because I have the thing taken apart. By bending this a little bit, it bent the whole thing. That side you can really see has the 
as the little metal piece goes up and down to make the contact. On this side, the contact wasn't being made. And now it might be. <sighs> so I'll put it back together. And see if I have a functioning item again. I even bent it up so that this would make a, a permanent contact and that this switch would be the switch that breaks side, but it still does not work. So, bye-bye. <laughs>